And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some Mardu Feather. So this is a kind of basically just a Boros Feather deck, as you can tell here, which I haven't been super impressed with uh, from uh, every time that I've played against him. But I haven't really played him too much. Um, traditional Feather deck with uh, for Dreadhorde Arcanist and for Feather the Redeemed as the main threats. The reason why this deck caught my eye, though, is it is playing... We are splashing black here for Soren Vengeful Bloodlord, and I really like this card. And so uh, how this deck has really struggled is like whenever... You know, you have like just a few threats, and if they use a removal spell on your Arcanist or your Feather, um, then you're just kind of... You know, you're just kind of out of luck, you know, if you're just sitting with like a bunch of pump spells in hand and, and nothing to to do about it, uh, nothing to do with them. So the Sorens do let you get your main threats back with the Arcanist and the Feathers. Of course, 10th, 10th District Legionnaire is a really good threat, too, for the pump spells um, and everything. So I think this is a, that's a pretty cool combination. Uh, I do like, I think I like Adanto Vanguard and Legion War Boss is like some uh, secondary threats. Legion War Boss uh, giving this like, you know, making it indestructible, sheltering light can be pretty nice. Um, a Danto Vanguard, how you have to pay a whole lot of life. Well, if you just gain your life back with Soren, given your creature's life link, uh, that can be just fine. And I thought it was pretty interesting how we have a bunch of Angrass Rampages over here for all the Planeswalkers that are running around. Um, so yeah, that's that's kind of a nice one. Um, sideboard, we got Healing Graces, which are just amazing against Mono Red. So hopefully we play against Mono Red. Uh, with this in this matchup with having all these healing graces and especially if uh, especially with feather you can like target your your feather with healing grace and uh, just continually to put it back in your hand and just gain three life over and over and over again that one's awesome Takali honor guard with all of these different uh, explore decks running around and even if honor guard is killed we can bring it back with Soren. Um, clarion for the aggro matchups also and even duress uh, for the spell heavy decks to help protect our creatures. So this looks pretty interesting. Let's give it a try. Mardu Feather. Yeah, hopefully hopefully the combination of duress and Soren help out our Esper matchup. Because yeah, I know that Esper is going to be probably our toughest matchup. And maybe a Danto Vanguard can do some work too. Hey, what's up, Colonel Fault? Even though basically everybody's playing uh, Moment of Craving and Crowd the Carnarium these days. Alright, this will be a keep. So I think I want to Adanto Vanguard on turn 2 and then have 10th District Legionnaire with like a Defiant Strike for the third turn. Obviously we need another White Source to be able to have both of those cards available, but still even just playing the Vanguard on turn two means we get to attack for five on turn three. Where if we go Legionnaire, we're only attacking for two. And then two again, only four. Let's observe. Bant stuff. Hmm. Do I want Dreadhorde Arcanist against Bant stuff? I think I'm actually just going to play another Vanguard. What have you been playing these days, Zerf? <laughs> Alright, so Bant Walkers. I think this could be a Settle the Wreckage kind of deck. Yeah, I think this is just like the, the Pillow Fort Planeswalker deck with like a bunch of 
courage. Um. Now, do you see the benefits of peace? I. Uh, I guess I should have done this pre-main. So that's three, six, seven, eight, nine, and we're not we're not killing our opponents. Uh, yeah, Sleepy Aussie, I I had another... Alright, so this is likely a settle here. So I know that they're playing Fogs and Settles. Um, I ha I wasn't able to uh, today. Um, Donahoe, Donahoe had, was making some changes, the person whose deck it was. Um, and did, did you have your list again, Donahoe, to, to put in the chat? Of the changes you're making to update the abs and angels um i had a sideboard guide i needed to make today so i wasn't able to really take a look at the abs and angels a ton so how am i making this attack definitely playing soren Just an illusion. Yeah, tokens would probably be pretty tough for yes. mon for the mono green Tron. Uh, for sure, you just try have to try to be fast with them with with all the mana creatures and get like Nissa out right away and and just be faster than them. Should've just played war boss. I abhor my need for blood. Maybe actually no, I we don't need to. I mean, even if they have cleansing novas, the vanguards are gonna stay alive. I'll just bring back the fog. Let us have a storied battle worth retelling. No tale should be discarded. Right at the bottom. Oh, the violence is impolite. Fortunately, you can't cast these unless they have a creature, which they don't play creatures. So these are just dead cards. 
They're looking for Settle and Root Snare. Yeah, this is Kaya. Like I said, Root Snare did not hit anything. My prowess is unmatched by my peers. Meditate and prepare. There's Whiffed. Okay. So we want all these duresses. Extra Rampage, take out the four Reckless Rage, and I guess that's it. Yeah, I guess that's it. No other Planeswalker removal or anything, so... Um, yeah, here we go. <laughs> I've got the whole day off. Let's play a game of Magic. <laughs> yeah, that's... That's our opponent there. Uh, I've been playing these weeks in Orzhov Midrange that you were playing at the beginning of War of the Spark release. Yeah. I was actually kind of... I was thinking about that deck today, honestly. Um, I was thinking about updating that today. That seems like a deck that the people have been wanting an, an update for. So, yeah, Orzhov Midrange. Hmm. It's not ideal, but I'm not going to ship it. Blech. I don't think we need enchantment removal. I don't I don't know if like what enchantment they're going to be playing. Dang. Didn't get a didn't get the ability to play 10th district legionnaire in the first couple draws. Need more white mana. Huh. I guess they just didn't hit a third land drop. I don't know what two lander they're keeping with their deck. I don't think you can just keep a two lander on the play because like all their things are planeswalkers and everything they cost more. Ooh, a quasi dupla ooze update. Okay. What would quasi dupla ooze look like these days? With all these planeswalkers. Is Biogenic Ooze really where you want to be? More feathers. Yeah, with Nissa and everything, isn't that just like a... That's just like the Simic Mass Manipulation deck, I guess. But playing Ooze instead of Manipulation, basically. There you go, Soul Farmer. Yeah, you can find it there in the decks. And we even have a, a backup. Um, feather. Aristocrats, black, white, or red, black? I think you can do both. I probably like black, red more. 
I think I like Judith and Dreadhorde Arcanist more than what White gives you. White's going to be better. Basically, White's going to be better against other aggro decks. And Red's going to be better against control decks. I think that's where you're kind of looking at those. Um, I'm not I'm not as big on Mardu. I don't like both two color combinations have everything that you want and or need and I don't think that making the mana a lot worse and making it three colors for the aristocrat deck is really worth it. So this is good old Jeskai control here with Revitalize and Prison Realm. The Prison Realm for the Prism. That doesn't kill anything. Get the Soren in here for some lifelink. Strife makes monsters of us all. <laughs> and I'll just hold up sheltering light to protect Feather. Yeah, that's that's how Tiller is the is because of the mana base. That's how the that's why the two color decks are better than the three colors. Because of the mana base. Oh, wait, did I... Oh, I did that end step? Oh, that was end step, so I didn't get to put that back in my hand? Well, that's unfortunate. I thought I was doing that before that. <laughs> what a mess I've made. Um, yeah, so now I don't have lethal. I would have had lethal. I just didn't need to do that, I guess. Well, I mean, because we drew the Soren, so we'd be able to like play the Soren for the other one point of damage. But I mean, yeah, it's like how how's our opponent like getting out of this anyway, though? Honestly, like I don't, I don't know how they're surviving. So duress, and then mortify and rampage. I think we want some mortifies with like this enchantment removal. Like for enchantment removal, do we even need that? We saw one enchantment. Hey, GGTV, Chris. Hope everything's going good. We did. We got zero wins on resolutions of God Pharaoh statue with the Tron deck. We played a God Pharaoh statue one match, maybe two matches, but like it wasn't. Nobody conceded to it. All right, I'll play one Mortify and one and three Rampage. Um, been loving variations of the Simic Hydra deck. Cool. Very good. Um, yeah, I don't really know what to what to do with tweaking it. What have you been struggling with with the deck? I feel like the 
like the very real planeswalker heavy control decks would be a struggle for the deck but maybe maybe not so they have four cards in their hand I'm not I'm gonna wait a little bit on duress I think we need a duress and they have four cards and I guess this you know, now drawing that red source, now we're going to curve out really well. Alright, well this would have been better as Angras Rampage here. Give up. <laughs> uh, no, I don't, I don't really have any hot takes with Modern Horizons. Um, now I've just I transitioned to streaming standard and brewing standard decks and everything all the time, and I don't don't really play Modern anymore. So I know I could have had Soren grab back Legion War Boss, but I guess it was about time to <clears throat> actually cast that duress. There are so many mysteries to uncover. Keep an open mind. Keep it on top. I have come for vengeance and blood. War boss. I come on back. Alright, you attack there, you attack there, you attack there. These vanguards have been really impressive in these against these control decks. Yeah, I haven't played Living Twister basically at all. Uh, as far as like a card that can help utilize all your lands, you know, that's that's a card right up my alley. And I just haven't really given it any try. And there was a the Gruel, that Gruel deck was a deck that did really well at the um, the arena. MCQ this past weekend. And so I wanted to try it out. Vampirism is a useful trait. Give me this back. And that should be it. We'll have the sheltering light to even make the war boss indestructible too. It looks like we're gonna be two and zero. Yeah, Vanguard put in a bunch of work there. Bunch of work.
Yeah, two five is really big. That's true. The five five toughness is huge. So yeah, really big and um Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how it plays out, honestly. Uh, no, Dooku. I have some prickly pear water. Prickly pear water. With star fruit and green tea. Well, we got the creatures. Don't have the spells. <laughs> Thanks, Dooku. Feather. Ow. It's rude. Yeah, we got two feathers. I'm going to throw one out here. So we can double 10th District Legionnaire the following turn. Yep, yeah, that's what we're playing right now. Mardu Feather. See if they just mine us immediately. Ooh. Let's get that going. I won't forget our time together. <laughs> yep, we got Just Guy Super Friends. So we've played against. Is this our third Just Guy deck? I know last time was Just Guy Control. What was the first one? Was that also Just Guy Control? Or is that Esper Control? I know this is the third Control deck. I don't remember if the first one was Esper or Just Guy. The past, present, and I have just the Green Tron was, was fun. Um. Okay. Oh no! Oh, auto tap! Ugh, auto tap killing me. Rip. Maybe we draw a white source? Oh, we can't draw another card anyway. It's just a, a huge waste. Ugh, okay. You you get out of there, you go here, you go here. What a waste. So my alright, so the the plan here was I needed to tap this red source though. Because then, yeah, Defiant Strike the Legion, the Legionnaire to make it a 3-3. And then they play Clarion the next turn. And then I would Defiant Strike again and make it a 4-4 because four, four, it would gain another counter. Um, but that, that auto-tap killed me there. Hey, Roby game. So that really hurt. Okay, good. They didn't have a shock also. Well, the auto-tap could have held mana for another Legionnaire if it just tapped like this and this. You know, tapped like these two lands. They still could have had, you know, we still could have had a mana for another Legionnaire. So yeah, we would have had lethal if we would have tapped correctly. 
because we would have had that 4-4 Legionnaire right now. And yeah, they're at 3. So would have just attacked for lethal, but we're still in a pretty decent spot. We're in a better spot with their head blowing up. Oh yeah, we played against Bant Walkers the first time, didn't we? All right, so same sideboarding. Bring in three Duress, one Rampage, cut four Reckless Rage. Easy enough. Same sideboarding we've done every match so far. Yeah, we've, we've just been cruising through these control decks so far. <laughs> DJ Polly B. Yeah, three mana to fairy is really good against us. Um, bouncing, bouncing stuff. Um, Dreadhorde Arcanist, Feather, and Adanto Vanguard all being good things to bounce. These are like the two cards that are not so good to bounce, or don't mind getting bounced as much. That was a good draw. I was kind of worried about playing 10th District Legionnaire just into shock. But Adanto Vanguard is a good draw here because we don't we can just play it and not worry about shock at all. And then if they play three mana to fairy. Oh well. If they would have played three mana to fairy, then we would have had a war boss to clean it up. Cool, as an F, yeah. Sub, sub battle stream on Saturday. It'll be a lot of fun. And yep, they did have that shock. Hmm. I guess I go feather here. I guess. Do they have a Dovin's Veto? Nope. Um, no, we don't need this land. Soren's good, but we already have a Soren. Soren is good though. Kinda feel like I should just keep it. Yeah, I'll just keep Soren.
kind of wish I would have kept that other land right about now. Though, obviously we didn't know that we weren't, you know, we didn't know that the next two cards were Soren Soren. But with that knowledge, I wish we would have just kept that other land. Rampage is nice. So this is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we could have played Legionnaire to make it 11. All right, three and oh. This Marty Feather deck's pretty sweet. Adanta Vanguard was like sneakily a great card for us in that game because they had the shock on on my turn two. If I would have played something else, they would have shocked it. But it, the Vanguard didn't die to shock, and so they used their present realm on the Vanguard, which meant my feather later on didn't have the prison realm. Yeah, that Vanguard was like really clutch. You got Rampage locked last night with this deck? Yeah, it could happen with Dreadhorde Arcanist, I guess. Bleh. Yeah, 3-0 and and 2-0 every single round against those blue control decks. Did feel like a pretty, pretty nice matchup there. Like all those. This one, though, our hand is pretty bad, and we're playing another aggressive deck. So if their hand is good, it's not going to be good for us. Not looking good. I don't know, I guess just play this thing. I'll taste your neck. You taste my neck. I abhor my need for blood. We did scry another land to the bottom. After a mulligan. Get rid of that Vivian. The weak be the strong. <laughs> Just playing two mana one threes and a, a planeswalker that deals one damage to them. <laughs> Uh, this is just not, not ideal. This is like the worst our deck could could be. <laughs> okay, I give up. I certainly want this lava coil. Over an Adanto Vanguard. Just want duresses over the other Vanguards. Don't love War Boss either. I do like to rest in this matchup though. Like they have a lot of, a lot of, they're gonna have a lot of removal spells, and they have all their planeswalkers. 
which are all great. I'll play one Mortify as another creature removal spell. <laughs> All right, can we draw some threats? Not looking good. Chandra and Domri. I can't beat either one. Guess I'll take the Domri. Going three three. Oh, come on. Not looking good. Yeah, it was a sketchy keep. We had to draw some kind of threat. I don't know. See that last mulligan that we had? That it was just a bunch of lands, and we just drew a bunch of lands. Our deck does a mulligan very well. We kind of need a a lot of stuff. We need a lot of like we need lands and creatures and spells. We had the lands and the spells. It just didn't have the creatures. So if we draw exactly Feather, maybe we can get there. Nope. That's lethal. Alright, let's try not to have seven lands again. Both those games, we were just sitting on seven lands. You know, if we keep four lands like we have there, let's not draw a bunch more lands. Alright, three and one. Uh, nope. Alright, let's look for white mana. All right, we got there. Um, hmm. I really don't want my 10th District Legionnaire to die, but we need like another white source for it.
Not another white source. All right, gonna have sheltering light available here. Um, nah. Okay, do we get to untap with 10th, 10th District Legionnaire or not? Well, looks like we do. Hmm, that's odd. They could have just shocked the Legionnaire. They dealt three damage to it instead. Should uh, question is should the red deck main deck lava coil and best of one? I don't think you need to. I don't hate it though. Like lava coil is awesome, so I definitely don't hate it. All right, we're dead to anything. That's something. Best chance of was staying alive there and having the Soren give give me life link. All right, we get all these healing graces, get these honor guards, um, lava coil, deafening clarions. I don't even hate all these rampages, mortifies, duresses. I don't even hate like all that kind of stuff. So Danto Vanguard's gonna come out. War boss is just going to come out. We're gonna just take out reckless rage. Also, play other removal. Yeah, War Boss dying to shock. I don't like it. So then we'll play. Just a couple dresses. Alright, let's go with this. Yeah, you can find the Mono Green Tron list on my Stream Decker page uh, that somebody just put there. The decks. Get there, there. Hey, what's up, Yud? Hmm. Don't want to shock for duress. Don't really like shocking in this matchup at all. Chandra? Am I taking light up the stage or Chandra? Was 
This just gets two cards. This can get a whole lot more than two cards. If I take stage, maybe they don't hit the land drops for Chandra. But it's like, how am I dealing with a Chandra? I just draw one of my Angrass Rampages. Yeah, I don't I don't think I really beat Chandra either. I can hope this the two cards off stage aren't very good. I just don't think I beat that Chandra. I have three Angrass Rampages in the deck that would take it out. I am forcing them to use that Lightning Strike on my Honor Guard here. Just cycle this. Are they playing Frenzy here? Yep. I should play this other land. Yeah, I should play that other land and strike again. Or, like, to be able to have strike up. If they block. Or if they don't block, I mean. Alright, I don't, I don't hate not using that strike now. Actually worked out just fine. So I can use that strike on Legionnaire. Wow, what a clutch honor guard. That was a clutch. Kali Honor Guard. They could have done this attacking and stuff first and then played Pyromancer to kill Soren.
we don't need that. Or we do. So I'm not really winning a long game against Frenzy, right? So I am just attacking here, trying to put pressure on them. Um, so now do I want to tick up Soren and go to four loyalty or minus and bring back an Arcanist or an Honor Guard? Bring back Arcanist, where, of course, Arcanist doesn't really do anything right now, but um, it certainly can. I think it's just, you know, obviously our Soren would have been dying there. And I don't, yeah, I don't think I really need the Honor Guard again either. They may just be blowing up their Frenzy here. To unlock their hand, honestly. Perfect. That's a good one. Considered casting duress here. Maybe we can surprise them with this other Legionnaire and everything. That hurt them having that Wizard's Lightning. They want a Chain Whirl. Firebrand. Hey, Chris with the gifted sub from Balding Yeti. Thanks, Santa Yeti. All right, nice Clarion. That's our fourth sub of the day. Okay, so they got just two cards. We have nothing, but we have 19 life. Well, that's not good. Card advantage the mono red deck has is pretty incredible. What's that smell? Oh, it's you burning. Pretty incredible. I'm not doing the 12 hour streams for right now, but I'm sure I will in the future. Let's light it up.
Well darn. It's looking like three and two here. This is still a real, a real fun deck to play. I liked us playing against control decks a whole lot more than these these red aggro decks. We lost to both of the red decks. You know, Gruel and Mono Red here. Well, you never know. Maybe... Maybe they have nothing and the Chandra minus seven doesn't give them anything. And then we draw something that pumps up two power. Sit back and watch it burn. <laughs> it's all good, Chris. You tuned in right whenever we started drawing real bad. It's all good. It happens. Seriously? Why don't you just cast those before attacking? Just have lethal. Ugh. Whatever. Just kill the feather and kill me or whatever. Oh well. Yeah, we are very dead. Dead by miles. But still, pretty fun deck. So we went 3-2 with it. Um, definitely struggled against the aggro decks there. Oh yeah, we're playing Healing Grace. That card's great. But Mono Red is just an incredibly good deck. It really is. Like all those frenzies and Chandras and Light of the Stages and all that kind of stuff. It's just a great deck. It's just a, it's the best deck in the format for a reason. Um, against control decks though, this was a lot of fun. Like the Vanguards were like really hard for them to deal with. And then we had like the Ang the Angrass Rampages were pretty clutch at taking out some Planeswalkers or taking out the Lyra Dawnbringer that we saw. Um, so yeah, Angrass Rampage was pretty nice, and then Soren did its job as well. This deck was pretty sweet. All right, so that's Mardu Feather. So if you're watching this video later on YouTube, um, please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. I'd appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching, and I will see you.